guys, my name is Caroline, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly favourites, but it's going to include July as well as August because I didn't do a July favourites. So the first thing is what I've been loving on television. And in July, I decided to watch Sons of Anarchy. And if you don't know what this is about, it's basically a motorcycle club um, called Sons of Anarchy and all of their activities and what they do in life. It's about, that's my cat. Do you mind, I'm videoing. Oh, he doesn't care. Sons of Anarchy is a brutal, violent and bloody series about a motorcycle club. It's filled with things such as sort of club and gang warfare, racism amongst all races, drug smuggling, gun trading, murder, everything really. And um, But it also focuses on Sons of Anarchy, the motorcycle club, as, as if they were a family, and some of them actually are. It's a really fast-paced, action-packed, plot and character-driven um, show that is really really exciting and I just think it's one of the best shows I've ever watched and I loved it. One of the main reasons I watched it is because Charlie Hunnam plays Jax and I think he did an amazing job with this character. I just absolutely fell in love with this guy, he's so yummy. And it's really weird how you are so in the sort of environment that they're in, that what they do, it does shock you, but it doesn't make you hate them. They're sort of these characters that are so flawed, um, <laughs> and sometimes they do such nasty, violent, brutal things, but fundamentally, they're good people, if that makes sense. They're good people that do bad things, and some of the things they do are really bad. <laughs> um, I will say that the writers of the show are brilliant. They weren't frightened to kill off certain characters, which always excites me because it keeps me on my toes. I think it's a really brave and bold thing to do as a writer. A lot of people are so frightened that if, if they let go of you know main characters that the ratings will drop, but I just think it was superbly done. I watched Sons of Anarchy back to back, so all the seven seasons, which once I finished it, oh my god, did I have a hangover or what? I just so love these characters that when the show had ended, I was, I was distraught. Honestly, distraught. And the ending of season seven, oh my god, it broke my heart. <sighs> So anyway, I loved it. Obviously, as I said, it's very, very violent, very brutal, very bloody. So if you're not into those sort of shows, then I wouldn't bother with this one. But if you love those sort of really exciting, gritty um, shows, then maybe this one's for you. And yeah, it's. I just thought it was absolutely brilliant. That's all you have to know. Now go off and watch it because it's fabulous. And I loved it so much. I bought my own jacket. In August, my favourite TV show has been The Walking Dead. I have been re-watching The Walking Dead and binging on all of the series from season one right up to I am now on season five. And I'm really loving like re-watching it. Um, it's even better the second time round. I can honestly say that. Uh, I don't know why, but I just I'm just really loving it. And I just love Rick. He's, he's my bae. I just love him. I just, I love him from the beginning when he was all clean shaven and he was all like naive and sweet and just so cute. And I love him as this brutal, bearded, grizzly man. Very sexy and yeah, I just love him. So yeah, I should be all up to date, ready for season six coming soon. So if you haven't watched this series yet, <gasps> why not? I mean, it's just brilliant. It has zombies in it. I do love zombies. Anyway, so yeah, so I have been mainly watching that. I have watched a few other shows, but but none of them that I can really remember thinking, oh, fabulous. So yeah, they're not gonna go in my favorites. So moving on to some bookish type of favorites. I have been loving these bookmarks. 
I love um, magnetic bookmarks anyway, I've got a, quite a big collection of them, but I was perusing Amazon, you know, as you do, and I came across these really cute um, little magnetic bookmarks, and they come in all different sort of designs. And yeah, I just absolutely love them. Um, they, I think there's um, Paris as well. I think I need to get that, or I may have got that. Oh, see, I've bought so many, I just don't know what I've got anymore. Oh no, I bought New York. They have a New York set, and I bought that. But I think they have Paris, which is my next purchase, because um, I don't have enough magnetic bookmarks. I also have another one that is quite similar to this, where there's lots of, I think it's called Forest Friends and there's lots of like little animals that you get in a forest. So yeah, I'm loving these, I'm a bit addicted. I just love them, love them, love them. Carrying on the bookish theme, I'm really enjoying these notebooks. I do love some stationery. And I saw these and I thought, I have to have them. It's just, you know, I have to. Um, I'm using them already. This and uh, these two, are actually um, designs from Penguin English Library. Uh, so this one is actually the cover for the Tenant of Wildfell Hall, and I think this is the cover for Charles Dickens' novel, maybe Hard Times. Sorry if it's wrong, but it's a cover of one of the Charles Dickens books, I'm sure. But they are just so so beautiful, and their the covers are just waxy. I think they're actually better quality than the actual cover of the books. Um, they're quite waxy and thick, whereas the one I read for Wild The Tenant of Wildfell Hall is quite papery and flimsy and um, yeah, so I would say I like these. I wish these were the like the, 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 book, the book covers, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm using those already and then I got this tiny little one which sits in my bag and it's I love the design of these little orange penguins, so yes, I've got that, which I think is really cute. My other favourite this month that I haven't actually done much of in my life, um, I have tried, but I never keep up with it. I've started journaling, and I've been doing it in this beautiful journal, um, and I have started. I don't write every day because sometimes there's not really much to write about. And I started writing in here because I have a lot of thoughts about certain things and I only really want to write about things that are going round and round in my brain. I need to get out onto paper because I think it really helps and you feel like you've almost told someone uh, even though you really haven't but that's how it makes you feel. So I've been really enjoying that this month. It's something new for me. Um, I have tried journaling in the past but I've never really kept up with it but I'm going to try and keep up with it because I just think um, not only is it good for my mental health but I think it's good to look back on things as well in the future and see where you were and see how far you've come so I think it's, it's really nice to keep a record of your thoughts. And my favourite book this month is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I've done a discussion video of this book so I'm not going to go into too much depth here but let's just say that I adored this book. I think it's beautiful, it's devastating and I just loved it. So I will talk about this further in another video but for now that's all I'm going to say. My last favourite is if you watched my previous videos you will know that I love coffee and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter you will always see coffee pictures um, because yeah I love coffee but I also like the odd herbal tea and um, normally I get sort of just li the little normal bags of herbal tea but I decided to get loose herbal tea and I found this company called English Tea Shop and they do these cute little tins and these lovely designs and yeah um, one of them I got which was the first one I saw and thought I have to have it is chocolate Rui Boss and Vanilla. I don't know if that's right how you pronounce it but that's that one and the next one was lemongrass, ginger and citrus which I like to have in the morning. They taste really nice of course as with most herbal teas that I've had they never taste as good as they smell. It's just one of those things I have to deal with it but it's still really nice and it's nice to have sort of caffeine free hot drink 
and it gives me that sense of coziness. Not as much as I get when I make my coffee, but it does help and I think it's a good thing not to drink too much caffeine. So I've been trying to drink my coffee but a little less and incorporate some herbal teas as well. And I found this. It's so cute. Look at this. Look. It's a little tea infuser, but it's a manatee and it's my man tea infuser. Get it? Get it? And it sits on your mug, on the on the edge of your mug. So you basically pull it apart, pop your tea, your loose tea in there, put it back on, and then it sits in your mug like that over the side. And it's, it's just so cute. The only thing I will say that it is a favourite for how it looks, not how it works, because it doesn't work very well. Um, the holes are just way too big and so all the loose tea plops out into my into my tea and it doesn't make for a great um, drinking experience because you're picking out bits of tea the whole time so it doesn't work for the job that it's meant to do but it's just so cute and I love it so I have decided that I will be buying a much finer tea infuser for my loose tea but I have been, I've been using this on days that I just need to see that little face. Um, I've been using it with my tea bags, so one of my favourite herbal tea brands are Tea Pigs, and I've been putting a little bag inside this so I can at least use it. So I don't get anything but um, the infused tea. Honestly, it's not really that difficult to put this on, Carolyn. Come on, woman but I wouldn't recommend it if you want to use it for loose tea but yes, I really like it and it has been a favourite this month so that's it, that's the end of the video they're all my favourites um, that I've been loving throughout July and August thank you for watching let me know what things have been your favourites what have you been loving over the last couple of months um, I'd love to know so that's it, thank you so much for watching, uh, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video, thanks a lot guys, bye!